do your Googles, go to your YouTubes, and watch this guy play. And keep in mind that every ball playing defender you see, that's inspiration came from your boy France. Respect the legend. Respect the legend. 78 years young. 78 years young. Guys, kids, do your Googles. You see, there is always a notion that if you're a certain age and you look at stuff like in black and white or it's in the 60s or the 70s, you're like, oh, who cares? They're just trash. But you know that you could always flip it. What if in 70, 80 years time, People look back at Messi and Cristiano and say, look, 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 look at these, these bones. They were playing at a time when people didn't know how to defend. So maybe defending will totally evolve in 80 years time. So a 20-year-old in the year 2040 something, but like, bro, Messi and Cristiano are freaking bums. They're playing at a time when guys didn't know how to freaking defend because defending had evolved. You have to respect what a player did at their time. And you have to look at it of their time which is what makes Franz Beckenbauer so special and so unique, you know. So again, condolences to the family for the last 78 years young, 78 years young. But I think this is a, this is why I have to do a vid because it's significant. It is significant of what this guy said because most people will know Beckenbauer as being the captain of the German side that won, that's led Germany to their World Cup victory, I believe, in 1974 over the Netherlands. So most people just remember him from, from that. But he's so much, he's so much more than that. Hence why I made him a horseman. <laughs> and he's been a horseman for a long time. You know, I've been a horseman for a very long time because, you see, on this channel, this is a football channel where we analyze football. And we respect all aspects of football, okay? We're not here about the stats. We're not here about the retweets or who's most popular. We're here to analyze football. Hence why, as the tagline says, this is the home. The home. This is the house of football analysis. So, before we actually, before I tell you what, what makes Beckenbau so special, let's just look at what this guy achieved. Because this guy, his, his legacy is set. I think... What we all or hope to achieve in life is immortality. How is immortality? To do something that will be remembered forever. Malcolm X will be remembered forever. Martin Luther King will be remembered for, for forever. You know, there are certain great men that to do certain things that will be remembered forever. You know? So, Ken Sarawiwa, go, go look him up, will be remembered forever. So there are certain guys who they will be remembered forever for what they did. And the legacy they, they put down. MJ, Michael Jackson, Prince. And so this is what he achieved as a player. So won the Bundesliga one, two, three, four times. Daily Poker won two, three, four times. The European Cup, a three P. Hold up. Oh, a three P. He did a three P. So a three P of European Cup, won the Cup Winners Cup and it's Continental Cup. Won the Bundesliga with Hamburg in 81-82. Of course, New York Cosmos said, what's up? World Cup in 1974. Runner-up in 1966. Third place. I believe that's in 1970. I believe it's 1970. Hold up. Um, yeah, I think that's 1970. Um, third place. Um, European Championship. Won it in 1972. Runner-up in 1976. See, if he just had that, we're like, cool, what cool? No, that is a damn good resume. European Cup winner, World Cup winner, League winner, Domestic Cup winner. That is good. But France said, it's cool, but I want to get my Z on. <laughs> See, I want to I wanna evoke my, 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 my inner Z, even though Z wasn't really alive by then. Oh, was it? I think it was, well, maybe it was like AJ Child now. Um, so we did as a manager. So he won the World Cup with the, with the West Germany as a manager in 1990. Won Uber Eats as a manager of Marseille in Ligue 1. Won the Bundesliga for Bayern Munich in 1994 and won the UEFA Cup 
for this again in 1996. And he entered the very rare, very rare. The only one I can think of is Didi Deschamps. So I think it's Didi Deschamps and I think Zagallo. So shout out to your boy Zagallo as well. I think I'm going to have to do a video about Zagallo as well. Shout out to you again. Condolences to Zagallo as well, who also passed away recently. I think he may have also won. Yes. Yes. Zag. I think there are only three dudes who've won the World Cup as a player and a manager. I think Zagallo was the first. Zagallo was the first. Then it was Beckenbauer, then it was De Deschamps. So I believe that's true that Zagallo is the first to win the World Cup as a player and as a manager. So you look at that, like, um, so already, that, that's already amazing. So his resume is set. And just to add some extra sauce, oops, sorry. Um, Ballon d'Or winner in 72, in 76, runner up in 74, 75, and third place in 66. So again, you know, and you know, you have to be special to win the the Ballon d'Or as a defender. Very few defenders have won it. I believe. I believe the only defenders who won the Ballon d'Or are that I can think of. Unless you can tell me it's Cannavaro and him. <laughs> so I think the only two defenders I can think of who won the Ballon d'Or, him and and Cannavaro, and for him to win it twice. So what made him so special? You see, before Ramos. Stones, Desai, Rio Ferdinand, there was Franz Beckenbauer. Before Franz Beckenbauer, the defender was just the defender. I'm there to defend. I'm the, I'm, I am the second to last line of defense. I'm here to protect my and keep I'm here to win the ball off of guys. And especially back in those in those days, go ask your boy Pele. If you have to break someone's leg to like, do it, we'll break their freaking legs. We'll stop us in half. Because we are here to defend and to break the legs of a Maradona or a Pele, because back then you got a yellow card for committing homicide. But Beckenbauer, who moved from midfield, was like, the defender can be so much more. The defender can be so much more. So he was the first to say, wait a minute, why can't the defender run with the ball? Well, whoa, 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 no, 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 you defend. But in France, like, no. what if the defender can actually run with the ball, bring the ball up? Why can't the defender be good on the ball? Why can't the defender step into midfield? Why can't we expand the game by pushing the, the defender up, which pushes the middle or which pushes the, the attack up, which, it pushes, which puts the opposition under a lot more pressure? Because more of our teams are allowed to um, push up because me as a defender, I may be able to bring the ball up. So rather just hoofing the ball, which one like most defenders did, because they thought that you didn't need to be a good footballer. All you needed to do was win the ball, give it to the midfielder, or just hoof it up. I was like, no. Let's evolve the defender. Let's evolve the notion of, of, of a defender. So the very notion of the ball-playing defender was brought in by this dude. Wait, hold on, where is it? Was brought in by this dude. Who did it? Yes, there you go. This dude. This dude here. Your boy. Your boy brought in the notion of ball-playing defender, and it's revolutionized the position. And ever since then, so when you look at a Desai, a Rio, and everything, Though every ball playing defender you see, this man, friends, back and back was the originator. So, once you finish with this video, go onto YouTube and watch the 1974 World Cup. Watch the 1970 World Cup, or just watch Beckenbauer clips and use context. And keep in mind that what he was doing was on ahead of. No one had ever played the position. In the way he was playing it. Similar to how Brazilians evolved how we viewed the fullback. Thanks to your boy Carlos Al Alberto. And whether it's a Ashley Cole, whether it's a Marcelo, whether it's a um, Jao Can Cancelo, a Carl Roberto Carlos, they all pay allegiance to those original Brazilian fullbacks. Every ball playing defender played the allegiance to Franz Beckenbauer. And I think he evolved and he expanded the notion of the defender man. So his legacy is set. His legacy is set. He's not only one of the greatest defenders of all time, he's one of the greatest players of all time. And he truly represents the very notion of a great. Because when you say, who is a great? It is someone that's had a major impact on sport. Bro, there have been hundreds of thousands upon thousands upon thousands, maybe soon even millions of footballers who've played this game. Several. 
So for someone to stand out upon the thousands and thousands of players, you've got to be special. You've got to be special. So kids, I'm talking to you right now. Do your Googles, go to your YouTubes, and watch this guy play. And keep in mind that every ball playing defender you see, that's inspiration came from your boy France. Go ask Desai. Because see, for me, growing up, Desai and my son Desai was the first ball playing defender that I knew. So this was like early, mid 90s. So I was like, oh, well, this is different. But again, if you ask Desai, he would say, oh, no, 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 no. The guy that did it and the guy that made it possible for me to even think of doing this and playing this way was a boy, Franz Beckenbauer, man. So, shout out to Franz, a true legend. Condolences to the family. And a guy who really, really 100% has immortalized himself in this great sport of football.